What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another modern video here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you are, are partaking of this this content, this Magic the Gathering content. And today we're playing uh, a deck by a patron and subscriber, Ew, you're skinny. Unfortunately, he does not look to be in the chat just yet, but uh, he submitted this Blue-White Spirits deck. If you guys are interested in having your own decks critiqued or played through leagues or queues, uh, you can find the information on how to do that in my Twitch profile. The link is in the description below. And uh, we got the addition of the Supreme Phantom. The Phantom Supreme, if you were to order it at Burger King. And there's four of those guys, which pumps, so which, which, which brings our, our Lord total up to eight, which is nice. Um... Plus, we also have phantasmal images, so maybe our lord our lord counts closer to eleven. We got this one remorseful cleric too, so a couple new additions from uh, M nineteen in this list. One spell snare, that's an interesting inclusion. I do like the Aether vials. Uh, it's nice, especially because we don't have collected company, so it's it's nice to only have one or the other. And um, yeah, sideboard's pretty standard. Uh, we got Akira, not Akira, just Kira. And, uh, surprisingly enough, is a spirit. So, Geist of St. Traft is a card I also forget is a spirit. Two Fragmentize, a rest, two rest in peace. I'm wondering if they should be Remorseful Cleric instead, but you don't really get... We don't have any kind of graveyard synergies, so it doesn't matter if our graveyard's gone. And rest in peace is a little more resilient than Remorseful Cleric, so... We'll see. What did I say? Uh, did I say a pretty standard sideboard? Wow. Wow, Quacker 2000. Are you the 2,000th Quacker, or is that your model number? That's my question. I am going to play this deck now, and you guys have a pretty good idea of what's going on. I don't think it's too complicated. It's a pretty straightforward spirit tribal deck. So, As someone who subbed after all the mics were established, can someone go down a roll call of the current mics valid in standard streams? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, so we're going to play blue-white spruits. My first Tron lands were white bordered. Yeah, did you fix it by setting them on fire? Because that would solve any Tron problem. Elk tears. Also, if you guys want to buy, if you guys want to jump in these modern queues with me, we can battle. Always an option. I don't want to force you guys though, because that's not fun for anybody. And then we just wait. This is the waiting part of the stream. I would fast forward this. If I could, but I can't. Oh, we did it. We're playing the Bud Monster, which I, I would initially think it was Kind Buds from from the chat, but he doesn't look to be present right now. So, probably just another Bud aficionado. You know, you know how it goes. I'll keep this hand. Wander into Supreme Phantom. The white border seems appropriate there to let your opponent know you're playing bad Tron. That's fair. Let's name Spirit. One thing that's interesting is that uh, when you play Cavern of Souls and you and you had to select the, the card type, it will put the card type that's in your hand in the box. So based on the speed that I was able to click Spirit, my opponent might be able to, to ascertain that I'm on Spirits, right? Or that I have some in my hand, rather. Um, I mean, obviously, it's going to be pretty pretty obvious once you play the card. But it's, it is kind of funny because it, it makes it so much quicker to pick the card type, the creature type. Um, that you're basically telegraphing to your opponent, I have a bunch of spirits in my hand. And then Magic the Gathering is allowing me to select this faster based on that. Koda Aria, thank you so much for the resub. This should actually be our sixth month anniversary, but I keep forgetting to resub. I <laughs> hope you win. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. What's that from? God, what is that from? Best in show? No. This is Azorius, otherwise known as Blue White. We don't call we don't call two colors by their by their guild names. 
in Magic the Gathering. Did they not attack with their... Oh, I'm game. I'm just going to play old Muto Toots. And then we're going to play this guy. Is it Hairspray? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, the game has ended. Hmm. Both both teams played hard. Okay, well, I'm going to take the Cleric out for a Nagate. Bring in this Kira. Take out... Probably take out the Paths. I don't think I care about that as much. Warship seems pretty insane. Bring another Geist that I just can't beat. This is probably correct. This is not a Sarah Seabrew, but you could... I, I, I see why you'd think that. This is actually an Ilya Skinny Brew, as indicated by the title of the stream. Oh no, I didn't update the deck list. Mistakes have been made. That's not what we want to do. Alright, hold on. My god. My god. Let's go to here and we'll update the deck list while we wait for our opponent to sideboard. Man, that shame scoop based on just not attacking on turn one is that was the thing was real. It's so slow work. I've got time to catch the stream. I like that. Your slow, your slow work is to to everyone's benefit. I can't read the tittle. Too stupid. Yeah, Dan. I didn't want to say anything, but it's, it's rough. It's a hard. It's a hard title life. I uh, I feel like we're we're in good shape in this matchup. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I will keep this hand. We're going to go Sea Chrome Coast here, I guess. Yeah, we can just go Moreland Haunt after that. So, the, the thing is, like, do we value the two life that we're going to save off of this more than... Being able to put it in, like, to so either we either put this into play on turn one to keep up spell spell snare for their turn two, but that means on either turn two or turn three we're gonna have to play this on tapped and take two. So is keeping up spell snare more important than two damage that we take from Hollowed Fountain in this matchup? That is the question. Alistair Kane, feel free to shoot, shoot me a message. Uh, we can talk about that. Because I, I definitely don't want to price people out. I think the price point I've chosen for deck critiques is just literally um, what I came to when I figured the time it would take and you know the, the, the effort of getting cards and critiquing it and posting it on YouTube and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's definitely flexible. It's not like set in stone. So, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want it to be accessible to people who want that kind of a service, though. So, all right, we're gonna keep up spell snare because we can always we can always hit a non-tap land as well to play this on turn three, or we can just go turn three, selfless spirit, or phantasmal image. But I write non-academical all the time. If you know what I mean, which you should. It was not a an innuendo in any, in any way. It was just a straightforward statement about the, the about writing patterns, basically. So, I 
I like that we've got a sub today, but we actually went down a sub. We went to 313 instead of 315. Sometimes I think when I get subs, it goes the wrong way, and that might be the problem. What if I actually have like 500 subs right now? And uh, I wouldn't know because sometimes when I get a sub, it goes down instead of up. It's very strange. Unless at this time, uh, one month ago, someone subscribed at the exact moment with Twitch Prime and then they just didn't resub at this moment. My God. All right, you got it. Taking it. I'm at 14 and I have done nothing this game. This is incredible. I guess we'll play Muta Vault. I really want to play Rattle Chains here because it's just gonna like we're not blocking seems like a bad idea. I guess we could just block with Muta Vault. <laughs> Go to Aria. You definitely did not. Definitely did not. I would never. I would never accuse you of such a thing. I'm trying to remember what Moreland Haunt was called for like a month. I think they probably called it Moreland Haunt. Oh my god, I totally forgot that new post. I have to post that. I totally forgot about the ban... Uh, the thing that I posted today. The summoning trap deck. Oh, look at this. We get rewarded. This is fantastic. Of course, we should have played this now. Which is very sad, but... What can you do? Uh, Alright, we're going to actually share this bad boy. Am I not logged in? I'm not logged into my own Patreon. What a time to be alive. Give me another C Chrome coaster right off the top. I will take one whole damage point. All right, well, I got to verify an email, so I'm waiting for that to arrive. Riff Bolt, huh? Well, the problem with Riff Bolt is that Geist of Saint... All right, that'll do. Geist of Saint Traft can't block it profitably. Can we just draw Worship? If we just draw Worship off the top with the Geist of Saint Traft, we're basically good, right? On your, on YouTube, is the Little Pornstar video series your deck critique people? Uh, that is... It's both, it's both that... Yeah, that's pretty much... I pretty much named all standard videos and all modern videos uh, Laporator videos. But um, you can tell in the description if it's if it's by someone. Sometimes I just play deck that, decks that 5-0, and I won't mention that in the description. So. But yes, you can find them under that header. I'm going to F6 here because I have nothing to do. Patreon log and attempt. Sometimes I'm requested to verify a device for your Patreon. That's me. That's weird. Why all of a sudden am I have to do I have to like That's weird. I've never had to do that before. Okay, can I can you refresh some logged in? There we go. We did it. All right. Let's share this bad boy. Share it. Oh, well, that's this is why I hate the Magic Online thing because, like, if, the, the Magic Online streaming Magic Online because it's like uh, it pops up like if anything shows up in this screen, ooh, it shows it like in front of the Magic. It just shows up on stream, which is super invasive. Uh, surely indecisive. Some critiques are definitely better than others. Um, I think if you appreciate the content that I produce, you'll probably be fine with it. But uh, it just depends on how good the deck is, right? Like, I mean, I'm going to have a lot more feedback for decks that need work. 
sometimes people submit decks that just are just fine and uh, I don't really get to find much to critique so it definitely depends on the deck and, and you know how it's submitted so Boros Charm eh well we're going to take 4 or 5 six, we're going to go 3 here so uh, top deck Warship is pretty good and then we can't we basically can't lose I think They don't seem to have green for destructive revelry. And I also can't imagine they have uh wear tear. I, I can't imagine they brought wear tear in. And then that pops up. All right, hold on. Give me one second. I'm just trying to share in here. Okay, I think that's good. Yep, going to go to three here and just hope we don't die. I don't see blocking as getting us anywhere. I mean, if they have it, we're dead. Skull crack. I mean, if we block, we go to th we go to three, or if we yeah, if we block and they have it, we go to three anyway. So it's like uh, it doesn't really save us in the long run. Second target is not controlled by the first. Oh, they have searing blood in hand, and they can't cast it because they try to target us and their monastery swift spear with it. That is not how that works, good sir. Ooh, that's nice. I heard there was a secret mind dressed in green again, but you don't really. Who doesn't care for Michaels? I actually second target's not like that's not how this works. This is not how the card you're trying to kill me with works. I was actually I actually had Hallelujah stuck in my head earlier, and I was like, "Ooh, what version do I want?" Though it was either Jeff Buckley or oh, we just win again. What? Why would you concede there? I'm at three. What? Why would you concede there? That's so weird, dude. That is not a person that needs to be playing Magic the Gathering at any level because they just, like... It's not even shame. Like, you're still winning. I still am at three. Any card in your hand kills me. And you literally have the card that kills me in your hand. You just have to wait for me to play any creature, which is basically the only way I can win. Cut an area. I'm sorry for not resetting buck for each month I forgot. Plus one for any future occurrences. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it. Those are some good, good accidental non-sub non bucks. I will play first. Oh, the old double either vial rattle chain's hand. This is probably not keepable. Trey Borknell, thank you so much for the sub. Trey, Bor Trey Borknell? Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. We are mulliganing this hand. Oh, uh, its hand is even worse.
Uh, we're going to mulligan this hand, too. Sure. This could just win with the... Uh, yeah, we do need this. I don't want to get greedy. <laughs> Frank and the crew? Who's the crew? Is this my spirit crew? Oh, boy. Um, I'll just play Cavern here. Spirit. Rattle chains, rattle chains. <laughs> Alistair Kane with the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I like flashing in this Geist of St. Traft. Why did they scoop last game? I don't understand. Rattle chains, rattle chains. Rattle chains forever. Geist of St. Traft seems pretty good against this deck. Oh, we're going to give it... Oh, that's cool. Mm, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. I'll get my other basic land. I might want to have more than more than two basics in the deck. Well, go white, blue, blue. Path decks all this guy, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Man, rattle chains for a land? What a deal. Rampant growth is alive and well in modern. I'm trying not to laugh at this this rendition of Hallelujah by with Michaels in place of you know regular lyrics. Ooh. Ooh. They might as well play either vial. So now even if they have Snapcaster Mage, they can't Snapcaster block because they only have two mana. Which is pretty sweet. They can kill this Supreme Phantom, though. But then no Snapcaster. So. Oh, wow. They just take it. That's pretty cool. I guess we're, or I guess we're gearing up towards a Supreme Verdict. Which is sad. That will actually take care of both of these fine gentlemen. They could always not have land Supreme Verdict. That is an option. They had they had land. Huh. Well then. Supreme Verdict did not happen. There was no verdicts of the Supreme Variety. Snapperino. Get rid of my guy. I don't have any more lands, which makes me sad. I will. Oh, where were you when I needed you? I 
Actually, Uncounterable sp sp Spell Queller is pretty sweet. Um, we're also able to counter a Supreme Will, Supreme Verdict, with a Spell Queller because it's not countering the spell, it's exiling the spell, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I can't imagine they can get out of this one. Interesting. So there's no cards in the graveyard. <laughs> Do you suffer from premature scoop? Pre-scoop is a common problem, and it can be treated with new scoopia. You can beat scoop pre-scoop. Talk to talk to Frank Lepor. Side effects include extreme saltiness and uncontrollable ranting. Oh, my only problem with this amazing one dollar donation is that the p in my last name was capitalized which i do not approve of um i'm just gonna play this i have no reason not to but i guess we can hold it in our hand in case they is this a restoration angel comes into play or do you just die i guess you could have another path for the angel Which is just fine. You can also have Resto. Resto into Lightning Bolt's pretty scary. Snapcaster again. Here's a problem. If they kill Spell Queller... One unapproved p <laughs> Oh, Kerwit. Buddy, you are something else. Yeah, it's not French, and it's I. This is not an original meme. Just so you guys know. Um, the problem is if we play Spell Queller, getting rid of this. If they kill it with something, they now have a second thing to use. Like even if they go Cryptic Command Bounce, they can then flashback a. Oh, they wouldn't have the mana though, probably. They could also just not have a removal spell. That is an option. I think we have to go for it. I mean, they take four here, they go to one. It means they can't crack any... It's not an old meme, it's just a tired meme. Like, getting, getting people calling me Frank the Poor or like saying it's french for the like it's just the it's just it's an it's obviously an obnoxious play on words that i've heard since i was a child you know what i mean like it's just obnoxious no no offense of course you guys are great but um yeah i just expect better from you guys see now they go lightning bolt and then the snapcaster comes back and they can keep this right up to lightning bolt our face again so we're giving them a free lightning bolt but like if they don't have it we win the game right and if it's something like lightning helix instead or Cryptic Command, they don't get to replay it. They just get to bounce it. And bouncing it's actually pretty good. Because now we just get to keep it, so. Alright. So they're still taking four here, which is nice. And then we have a Spell Queller for Emergencies. You're all obnoxious. No offense. Big fans. Wow. You guys you guys knew what this was. You guys had it coming. All right. They're at one. No, no fetch lands are an option. That's good. Shut off all them fetch lands. Saw so this deck often on TG lately. It was, a, it was a five or in our modern FN. A five or in our modern FN. What does that mean? Five or what is what are you saying right now? What's going on right now on Drum Tuna? What is happening right now? Oh wow. Check out this guy. Check out this guy. A five of? So there are five in all of FNM? I mean the deck is pretty easy to assemble, right? 
It's just basic cheap spirits from Shadows of Innistrad, basically. I want to crack this because we don't have any Jaces. We don't have any Shuffle effects. I just want to thin my deck. Watch, there's going to be like one Hollow Fountain and no other Hollow Fountains. I am curious about the distribution here. Um, how many fetch lands do we have? Okay, so just the four, but we also only have four targets for them. I'm never a fan of that. That's a good draw. That was a good one. I was hoping for that. How are we going to deal this one last point, guys? That's the question. These are the questions. Yeah, active Teferi on board is pretty scary. I have to assume they have a way to kill this. We have no more basics, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think two basics for a, a two-color deck is too few. So is there is their answer just blocking the colonnade here? No. Nope, nope, found it. Not even going to search. Nope. I hate that this is other spirits. God, again, if we just drew... The, like, This is the perfect card to protect our other guy. Same thing with Spellcaller. Remember that Spellcaller turn where we could have Spellcallered the... Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game. I'll play it out because I have no reason not to, but... I did not actually include the skilled animators, but they would be re pretty reasonable right now. If this is a Sphinx Revelation, we're just going to... Yeah, that's that's all I need to see. Okay. So, path seems pretty bad. It's only actually good against your Snapcasters and your Colonnades. Negates seem great. Geist seems great. Kira seems great. Remorseful Cleric doesn't seem great. I think this is probably where we want to be. Stony Silence and Rest in Peace are kind of meh. Fragmatize is meh. Engineer Explosives, meh. Maybe Worship, but they have a lot of ways to deal with a Worship, so I'm not too concerned with it. Which is, again, funny because uh, we've gotten like two or three subs since I mentioned my 314 sub issue. It's very weird how it just doesn't really change sometimes. It's not dynamic enough, I guess is what I'm saying.
I feel like our opponents are taking significantly longer to uh, to sideboard than we are, which is very interesting. Are there other one mana spirits that we're missing? I feel like there's more aggressive spirits that we could be playing. <laughs> Alright, I think we did it. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Did we mulligan five last game? I'll feel a lot better about uh, getting them to one last game since we mulled to five. MTG Garlic Bread. I'm leaving for the military and sat down with able to watch your basic training queue of the good streams and day. MTG Garlic Bread. Thank you so much, man, for for not only the the donation but also for uh, for the service, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm just sitting here playing Magic, and you're gonna keep us safe. So that's significantly. And your name is MTG Garlic Bread. So I mean, I see no problems with you, sir. I think we'd be best friends. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. And also, like, feel free to shoot me messages and let me know how you're doing, and I'll let the stream know. Because now you're now we're invested in your well-being. I am just gonna play selfless spirit here. Press F to pay respects to garlic bread. <laughs> I'll be the first to press that F button. Nice. Cavern of Souls pretty good against the uh, the control deck, I believe. I feel like we can... Oh, this double drog skull captain is also pretty pretty sassy. And a selfless spirit? Oh, man. We're basically... Can't lose. Oh, that was a good draw. Blue, white, blue... <laughs> I'll be here every day till I leave. Wow, that's commitment right there. Um, I'm gonna go this guy first. I haven't done the math, but it seems like it checks out. They're gonna try to kill the selfless spirit. It's probably gonna work. See now that we, now that they path us, we have one. Oh. I would rather make you crack this and take it right now. I, do, I guess they don't have to do that, do they? That was pretty bad. That was stupid. Yeah, they'll just let it get countered. All right, that was pretty... I don't know why I did that. We could have had an extra land. I totally forgot. I was like, oh, but if we make them crack, then then, then they actually have to crack their thing. <laughs> they don't. Oh, man. Losing all the paper MTG to a flood is pretty rough. That is the most no bueno thing I've ever heard. I'm glad you guys are all focused on the uh, the military chat so that, that you, you guys didn't catch my mess up. Ooh, thank goodness. No one will ever know. It'll be my little secret.
I'm actually, I feel like I'm going to do this jobby. Because then we can actually drog Skull Captain number two. And then we're only playing around. Supreme Verdict, which is still an option, but Yep, here we go. Supreme Verdict OP. No, no Supreme Verdict. Interesting. These guys can't be blocked by spell quellers, by snapcaster mages. They can't be targeted by basically anything. We are going to go get a hollowed fountain here. We can Phantasm Lodge copy these Drog Skull Captains. That's pretty... What's your opinion on the new Commander cards? Uh, I haven't seen many of them yet. I definitely plan on taking a good look at them. And... Um, and writing an article on Patreon about it. So, Snoozlemoo, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm going to actually have to translate this. Because I'm very curious. Oh, and a Patreon. Foreign language. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so for those curious, that Snizma post translates to foreign language part. Well, that's fantastic. Ay, oh, boy. That's it's going to be an either vial. Oh, it was land. How many spirits is too many? I think we just saved the Geist. They're dead on board. Because the thing is, if they do have Supreme Verdict, I'd rather have a, I want to have a follow-up. There's no reason to play a Geist on this board. If you ever call for Frank, you can't make it because of military things. Lots of people issues that are That's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh boy. Yeah. Ruined Halo. Well, that's a thing. Well, just donated two pints of blood. Oh my God, Chad, that's ins that's insane, buddy. That's a good amount of blood. Oh, Akira, the Great Glass Spinario. Months on, so if you had to pick one band to provide the music for the world, all the music would cease to exist, which band would it be, and why would it be Nickelback? Honest answers. If I had to pick one... Look at this 5-5 five, five Geist of St. Traft. I don't know if this counts, so I'm just going to attack you with it anyway to make sure. I think it's still a Drog Skull Captain. Alright, just checking. Um... See, that's, a, that's problematic because it would always change for me. That's basically just asking what's your favorite band, right? In, in a roundabout way. Currently, I would say The National. 
all time, I would say... So they have to block the Geist here. So they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, activate this guy. Um, all time, I would say... I, I, I think more well-roundedly, I would probably say Miles Davis. So we're going to play this. Everything has hex proof. They have to block with Colonnade here, presumably, or they can go Snapcaster, block, Geist, Lightning Strike, our face. That is an option. So they have to block the Geist here is actually the name of my emo band from the late 2000s, from the early 2000s. Have to block the Geist is what we went by. HTBTG. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be Snapcaster Lightning Helix. Nope, it's not going to be Snapcaster. It's aggressive. I have no more basics left, so that's sad. Whatever. Hey, you got it. I searched my library. I've been okay. Force Pooch first. How about yourself? So here comes... No? Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Settle the wreckage. Huh. Well, that is a thing. See, this is sad because... Actually, I guess it's fine. We just play Kira. And now we're, like, really just playing around. Like, Kira's a 5-5. Five five. We're just playing around Supreme Verdict. Oh, they just did nothing. I guess we're also playing around Subtle the Wreckage, but now we have another Geist of St. Draft, so... So it has Hexproof and it can't be the target of things. That's pretty good. So if they Snapcaster... Oh my god. Oh, they're just gonna throw this guy away. Alright, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm gonna eat this dude. <laughs> Gotta bat their own, their own colonnade. Target Spirit... Gains hexproof. Dang, Colony is not a spirit. Otherwise, I would have been like, give that dude hexproof. Don't be the first for anything. Don't be the last for anything. And heat garlic bread daily. <laughs> what if I'm not going to eat the garlic bread? Heat garlic bread daily or eat garlic bread daily? Because those are two different things. If I have garlic bread in my freezer, which I do, I don't want to heat it daily because then it's just going to, I'm like, well, I'm not eating it today, but I guess I have to heat it because that's what garlic MTG garlic bread said. However, when consuming garlic bread, which you should do every day, I do recommend you heat that every day. It's where they just, oh, I drew the Supreme Verdict off the top of the turn. I needed it. Is this where that happens? This is so obnoxious. Wow, you just have everything. That's amazing. Alright, you have one card. Let's see if you can stop this, gentlemen. Come on, one time. Just let the Geist of St. Trap survive. That's all, that's all we want. This is just a bad joke, I think. Oh my god. Oh my 
Yep. So last turn, just to be clear, you had a land, a Bane Slayer Angel. No, you didn't have a land, I guess. You didn't need a land. So you had Serum Visions and you hit Bane Slayer Angel off of it, I guess. Or you had the Bane Slayer in hand. Oh, another lightning helix. How much would it cost to do a league with my battle of... Um, uh, I wouldn't charge more for that. That wouldn't be a problem. I would just deal with it. If that's what you mean. Yeah, we're just going to scoop here. I, I don't foresee us winning against Bane Slayer Angel. Actually, especially when we boarded all our Force of Wills, our Path Exiles out. Um... What are good spirit cards? Like, what am I missing here? I feel like we're, I feel like we're just not, I feel like the, all these spirits are so easily dealt with. They're all two ones. Or they're phantasmal images that die when you hit them. I feel like this deck wants collected company. I don't actually care about either vial because they all have flash anyway. Like these guys have flash. Oh, excuse me. These guys have flash. Uh, I guess, I guess only those have flash. <laughs> this guy gives them flash, which is pretty good. I always feel bad about drawing either vial, but I always feel great about drawing collected company. Is that weird? <sighs> Do we just try it with I also don't like the number of basics because it's just not enough. I'd rather have one less of these. And one more island. Yeah, I'm going to take out the other vowels. I think it's collected company time. Out of my bunghole. This is where everyone in the YouTube video, in the YouTube comments, is like, did you just say get out of my bunghole? Because they're not paying attention to the chat. I'm also going to take one Mute Vault out because I don't care. And we're going to add Breeding. I guess Flooded, actually Flooded Strain is probably just better than the other one. Um... I'm gonna take Moreland Haunt out. I just don't think it's. I think the power level is too low for a card that has this for a for a deck that has so many colored mana requirements. We also already have Muta Vaults. Uh, so we have Breeding. I probably want a Temple Garden as well. Over one sea chrome coast, we'll say. And I think we just try it like this. I also think the one spell snare is pretty weird. I'm going to look up spirits. Shriek Geist seems pretty... No, just kidding. <laughs> is Departed Deckhand good? I wonder. An angry Dala to make undrum Tuna Hala because... Well, she. She hates garlic bread. Wow, is that true? Wow, that's super weird, dude. That's not okay. Um, I don't know if I care about Noble Hierarch, though. Like, I guess turn turn to Drog Skull. Turn to Spell. It, the problem is, like... Oh, I hate wet garlic bread? Oh, that's much different, then. What's wet garlic bread? Did you just like dip it in your water? I've what is wet garlic bread? Someone got water on it? Oh no, don't eat that. That's just soggy bread. No one's expected to like soggy bread. That's like a given. That's super weird. 
I have a problem because there's 2,000 spirits here and I don't feel like looking through all of them. However, I don't know how I'm going to find the best ones. We have the best spirits. I could see bringing in other rattle chains. Rattle chains is pretty epic. I, I, I feel like Remorseful Cleric is probably just best in the sideboard. Like, in, in most matches, rattle chains is probably just better. And I think Remorseful Cleric is better for the sideboard. I also don't know what the Engineer Explosives is for, so I'm going to take it out. That seems weird, but I don't like it. I'm going to bring in another rattle chains. You guys keep saying noble hierarchy, but I don't know what to cut for noble hierarchy. Here's here's a here's an old an old philosophy that went around. You have to actually suggest a card to cut in order to suggest a card to add, because otherwise you're just telling me to like add cards and play 64 cards. I don't know if departed deckhand is good enough. It's a two two like. The fact that it's whenever it's, it's targeted by a spell, it dies is mostly irrelevant because most of these cards are going to die when they're targeted. But it's also unblockable, and you can also make any of your other guys unblockable. Like, making your Geist of St. Traft unblockable is not terrible. You cut those lands? We have 21 lands. What lands are we cutting? I'm not cutting Spell Quellers. I'm not cutting Collected Company. I'm not cutting three Geists. I'm not cutting four Drog Skulls. I could see maybe cutting one of the rattle chains we just added, which is unfortunate, but I could see it. I could see cutting one selfless spirit. You could be cut, you could be cut. I don't see the point of cutting Supreme Phantom because it's new and we're trying to see if it's it's good. I don't want to cut Phantasmal Image. I could see going down to three path and cutting Spell Snare. So here's a problem with Hierarch. Uh, we have to actually re-engineer the entire mana base in order to find a way to get a green source on turn one. Uh, which I don't think is good enough. Uh, we have Breeding Pools. Uh, we have Cavern of Souls naming human. And we have Flooded Strand. And we have Temple Garden. Keep in mind, this naming a human is pretty bad for us. So outside of that option... We have about six lands that we have to draw that would allow us to play a Noble Hierarch on turn one. And I don't think that's good enough. I think you guys are being real ambitious by by trying to put... Because you, you really want to be base green. We have Vile? No, we don't. We're not playing Vile. Also, if we're playing Vile, we're going to go turn one Vile, turn two Vile in a Noble Hierarch? Then what's the point? Because then turn three, we're just going to have to play a three drop anyway. We're not... The, the best part about Noble Hierarch is that you go from turn one to turn three. But if you're Viling in the Hierarch... Plus, we're going to have Collected Company Vile and Noble Hierarch in this list that you guys are thinking about? No, sir. No, ma'am. No, ham. <laughs> have you considered unclaimed territory? Favorable wins? Um, yeah, again, like, you're not telling us what to cut for that card. Like, it's not... I don't think that's better than Supreme Phantom. Which is a threat in and of itself. It also doesn't hit Geist of St. Traff. But I think that's probably the only card it's not going to hit. Um, but again, I'm not going to, like... I don't think we need that. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a... I kind of just want to play Drog Skull Reaver in our 21 land deck. But I don't think that's going to work out the way we want it to. Actually, this is 2,300 uh, cards, I think. Which is why, like, I think this is like 20 of them. This is 13 of them. Why do I have 13 Spirit Shackles? I did a lot of Modern Masters drafting on here. Not Modern Masters, Masters Edition. I almost don't like, I almost don't mind Azorius Herald. Can't be blocked and uh, you gain four. It's pretty reasonable against the burn decks. It might be better than Reflector Mage. I don't know what Reflector Mage is doing for us. I could see cutting Spell Snare for another image. Um, I also could just see putting a Kira in the main deck as well. Yeah, please, Drog Skull. I do want a Drog Skull, Captain. It's probably one of my favorite cards. I mean, it says draw two. It's basically a Consecrated Sphinx for seven mana. Right? 
Not entirely. Yeah, six green sources is plenty for this. Maybe. Probably going to cut one more Mutavolt and add another, like a Misty. So seven. Any consideration for Geist of St. Traft? You mean other than the Geist of St. Trafts that are in the deck and sideboard? Yes, I have definitely considered Geist of St. Traft in the deck. That is safe to say. Um, <laughs> Put in random spirit generated by gatherer search. Take out key card allowing the deck to function. Solid. Yeah, I just don't like this one spell snare. I don't think it does anything for us. You're not doing us any favors, mono spell snare. Um, let me look something up real quick. Let me see what we got here. Dog skull. This is all part of the process, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for the delays, but uh, you just got to deal with it. Yeah, a lot of these versions don't actually play Mutavolts, which I think is smart. Some of them do, however, play uh, Horizon Canopy, which is interesting. Thalia is an interesting inclusion because you really don't have many spells yeah we already went over the this you should play nobles part we have to literally re-engineer the entire mana base to do that <laughs> oh crying out loud Kerwit. crying out loud The difference is Kataki only deals with affinity, whereas Fragmentize deals with lots of things like Worship or Ensnaring Bridge. I like Unified Will a lot. It might be better than Negate in the sideboard. I think it actually is. Oh, we also have one sideboard slot. That's pretty good. I feel like I was going to put something in the sideboard and I forgot it was. That makes me sad. Hmm. Kataki doesn't fly. He's a spirit that does not fly. It's very sad. A panini is a sandwich. That's why we're talking about removing it from the sandwich list. Unless someone said that. It's literally two pieces of bread with filling. Uh, I'd rather play Azorius, Azorius two one guy that blocks things and gains four life than than Leyline. Hmm. Yeah, there. I I'd a lot of rhetoric rhetoric as an option, but I mean I'd probably just rather play Damping Sphere, which also deals with some Tron stuff as well. I think one Damping Sphere in the sideboard is fine. Actually, we have two spots. My God. Yeah, I like Damping Sphere because it deals with Tron and it deals with um, Storm. Settle, that's interesting. I mean, it's an option. I could see putting one Settle on the sideboard over this. I don't know what Reflector Mage is for, so I'm going to take out the Reflector Mage. We need one more main deck card. I don't know what it could be. Probably Geist of Saint Draft. Probably Phantasmal Image, actually. Yeah, all right. Let's try it like this. It's a little more streamlined. Also, Ghost Quarter is an interesting land to include, which I almost like better than the other guy. Also, let's cut the island for a forest, uh, which makes it 
It's a little harder for our mana because sometimes you just don't want a forest. But if they path to exile us, I do want to be able to grab a forest. And now I have to change it to Bant Spirits. Does this deck naturally do well? I actually don't know. Play Talon Trooper. Well, okay, so the thing about Talon Trooper is that just because it's your favorite card does not mean it's very good for this deck. I just got a notification on my phone and it's like here's a bunch of here's a bunch of uh Funko stuff from San Diego Comic Con and I'm like okay that's that's cool and all but none of this is really for me. All right. Oof. One Temple Garden. Okay, I accept put you on the bottom we really want to hit lands here so uh oh here we go again speak of the devil oh our opponent's double queuing that's always nice why can't you just play one round at a time I don't understand that we're gonna play this in case we can uh, see if we can draw land here Psycho D, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, well, no hasty boys. No attacks either. Okay, well, apparently no one knows how to attack with their goblin guides. This is fantastic. I am a fan. Let's get a breeding pool. And hope we draw a white source, I guess. I, I, of course, draw island. We could have got the, the path the path land, but say spirit and we'll just run this guy out there. Oh, I love the green lightning helix. It's probably one of my favorite magic things ever. If I auto-renew monthly on the day it charges me, does that message pop up? Uh, no, I think you manually pop it up, but I'm not sure. You'll have to ask. You'll have to ask others in the chat who actually control those sort of things. Yeah, there's no reason not to do this. I don't think it works. I think we still take three, unfortunately, but yep, that's rough. I'd like that we we'd be at seven if they if they didn't miss their attack, which is just ridiculous. Burn is consistently one of my least favorite decks to play. Against. Is Lightning Helix your favorite color shifted card? It really is. The green lightning helix is definitely my favorite colored shifted card. I'm 100% blocking here because Geist of St. Traft. Supreme Phantom. Or 
We could take two more, which is pretty scary by itself. We're not hitting a land next turn. Lightning Helix actually probably could be a green-black card. The black would supply the life gain. Or, or the black would supply the, the three damage, similar to Bump in the Night. And the green could supply the life gain. So the problem is we know we're not drawing a land next turn. Yeah, we're just going to block. Why is the selfless spirit highlighted? All right, now it's not. Okay. I'm just going to pass and keep up rattle chains, and then we can pass the turn again and play double supreme phantom if we draw land, or collected company if we draw land. Yeah, I knew I knew you were making a joke, but then I thought about it, and I was like, wait, that works. I risk rattle change gate. Oh, yeah, you're just going to kill us here. Okay, well, we're having a good time. Burn is a fun deck. I mean, I, I feel like we're pretty good pretty well positioned against the yep all right cool if we can just bring in warship i think we're good but uh let's bring in warship let's take out one two paths i don't think we super care about path it's probably the only thing we really want bring in a unified will probably bring in the other geist of saint traft for say like Yeah, that seems fine, I guess. Um, yeah, this hand's keepable. Magus, thanks so much for the hug. Really appreciate it, buddy. Tell Venezuela I said hi. Unified will. All right, well, they know we have that, I guess. I'm just going to play this tapped. Doesn't feel great. But I want to have Spell Queller up next turn. Oh, I was like, why did you pay two for that? Oh, I see, because the Sacred Foundry came in to play tapped. I got you. Yeah, we also couldn't unified will anything anyway because reasons. I don't think we're winning this match either. I don't know if spirits are well positioned right now in, in this format. I don't know if blue white spirits are. I just don't feel like you're getting enough card advantage. Like, it's such a one-for-one one game, and they don't have the the same resiliency that Merfolk have for some reason. Like, all the Merfolk are 2 that cost two. A lot of your good spirits, like Geist of St. Traft and Spell Queller and Drogskull Captain cost three, which is significantly different. Hmm. Still no land. Okay. Well, if we activate Mutavault. Vault, 
and they try to burn us out, we can't do anything. I think we can just take three here and... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, we really want a fourth land here. <laughs> like, we're not attacking. Um, and the rule is if you don't plan on blocking, you should be attacking. But the reason we're not attacking is because we don't know if we want to block it. It depends on what happens. If we go to three, we're definitely blocking. However... We don't know. Boros Charmos. Pretty much have to do this, right? Yep. We could also actually just counter this now. No, we can't. We stack the triggers incorrectly, unfortunately. All right. So now they just kill this, they get their Boros Charm back. You can play Talon Trooper and Merfolk too if you play white and blue. That's true. That is a good point. Path. Well, that's pretty nice. If we can survive here. I'm not sure we can. They Boros Charm. I think we're just chump blocking in order to collect a company here. I don't really want to go to four. I'm not sure there's a difference between going to four and going to six, though. Oh, this is actually three. Spell caller number three. All right. Well, we're definitely blocking here. Sack Wander to protect Queller. Wander was a 1-1. One, one. They could just pay one more to play it. To Then we just lose both. Yep. That's pretty good. Yeah, this game's over. All right. So we don't have a good matchup against Burn, I don't feel like. We also don't have a good matchup against Control. I don't know what our deck is actually great against is the problem. Like, all our creatures are very weak. This is, these are 1-1s. One these are 2-1s. These are 2-1s. I mean, they have cool abilities, and once you get a Drogskull Captain online, it's cool, but, like, Drogskull Captain's only a 2-2. Two -two. So I'm not sure. I don't like Mutavolts. I don't think they're good. Oh, you can confuse Wander with Spell Stutter Sprite? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no, otherwise that'd be that'd be insane. Yeah, Mosley Wander is is equal to its power, so it's basically just a force spike at that time. LaFof, what's going on, buddy? Wanderer makes them pay for a number of spirits. No, it doesn't. It's power.
I mean, other than like changing the entire deck so that it's more Bant, I don't actually know if Blue White Spirits is competitive enough. I mean, like I'm looking at other decks. Like, here's a here's another deck from the Modern Challenge that took place. Uh, you know, four days ago, and it's got four Mausoleum Wanderers, three Phantasmage, four Rattle Chains, three Selfless Spirits, so very similar to what we had. Four Supreme Phantom, three Thalia, Guardian of Thrabens, so that's 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 a pretty good addition. Four Drog Skull Captains, one Kira, four Spellqueller, one Vendillion Click, and the spells were four Path, four Aether Vial, which is what we had. So basically the same deck, like it's basically the same configuration. So like, I don't they went 5-0 in that, in that event. Yeah, I think Vile is good too, but I don't think it's better than Collected Company, especially in a deck that has zero card advantage. Like, being able to flash in a Selfless Spirit at the end of their turn is just not very exciting in Modern. Especially when you consider the risk of drawing multiple vials, and it's just like, eh. I'm gonna give it one more go and see what happens. Well, that's fine. We missed that. Missed that match. I will play first. Why is this chat all of a sudden so big? It's so weird, dude. The random things that Magic Online does sometimes is so strange. I'm just going to make this real big. Get it? Tangible. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew. Yes. I understand. Pretty sure we're just rattle chainsing here. Kiddo just turned off the power strip for my wife's comp. Get wrecked. Wow. That's something right there. Land one time. This is where they path our Mausoleum Wander. I'll give you hexproof, sure. Certainly. Hey, that's pretty good. We can flash in Geist of Saint Traft and Drog Skull Captain here. See, this is the kind of opening we're looking for. If they try to do any shenanigans, we're just going to drog skull captain it. No beats. Are you a uh, are you a spirit? If so, I got you covered, buddy. This guy. Oh. 
I'll crack my land. Okay, you got it. So, yeah, this is pretty good actually. Get in there with these guys. Doodly -doo 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 -doo. No blocks. That's pretty cool. Do 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 do. This guy every day. Do, 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 do. I think the is frontal hierarch and two birds to hit three drops more consistently and also um yeah but then you have to retweak the entire deck then it's just a different deck like because then you're changing the entire mana base to accommodate six one drops also I don't know what you're taking out for those six cards you have to take out six spirits from the spirit deck and then you're just basically playing a bant deck um with three drops some of which are spirits. Oh, wait. Got to do this differently. Blue, white. Okay. Yeah, Geist of St. Traff seems like one of the stronger cards in the deck. <laughs> what do you think about adding Eidolon to the Great Revel? Just for why, why though? They got a 1 here? That's incredible. I'm going to play this. Probably should have played it pre-combat because then it would have forced them to block. But then if they block here, it's almost worse for us because then we get our Geist of St. Traft back. And then we have to sacrifice one anyway. So it's basically like they got a free Geist of St. Traft. All right, well, we're up a game. That's good times. I have no idea what we're playing against. We saw Reflector Mage and Spell Queller. Interesting. I think we just submit like this. I don't think Fragmentize is great, but they're obviously not dampen dampening, damping Sphering. We don't care about Remorseful Clerics or Stony Silences. Unified Will might not be consistent. Geist of St. Traft is always good. Kira's probably not great. Settle could be good. I got one image and bring in one settle. Actually, this copies their guys too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially in a creature matchup. I think I got one Mausoleum Wanderer. I'm just never impressed with Mausoleum Wanderer. I do like a Crater Hoof Behemoth. You might be right. I'm going to keep this hand based on this collected company because we don't have we don't need a one drop. We got a two drop Selfless Spirit. We can probably hit a second two drop or a three drop to play in between this collected company. Mm -hmm. Intriguing. Path to exile, sure. Oh, how nice. Uh, let's get a tumble garden. Is 
If Spirits had to pick one Planeswalker to play, which would it be? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Chase the Mind Sculptor, probably. I mean, if they want to attack with Meddling Mage, we'll totally block, considering we have two paths in hand. Seems good. I mean, how's that a lazy answer? That seems like the correct answer, right? Like, if the blue-white deck is playing one Planeswalker, probably going to be Jace. I could also see you playing the new Ajani. Ajani... The... Oh, Militia Burglar? Bugler? Mm -hmm. Bird of Paradise. You got it. I don't feel you put any thought into it. Yeah, that's because I knew it was the default correct answer. It's a blue-white deck. Playing Jace the Mind Sculptor is pretty easy. I don't think just because I didn't put a lot of thought in it means it's wrong. I mean, I could sit here and pretend to think about it a bunch. Let me give it a lot of thought. Well, I can. It's not going to be... My answer is probably not going to change that much. Let's do a thing. I'm just going to get a basic here because I don't really feel like taking a million damage against this deck that is far ahead of us right now. Double Drog Skull. Oh, you're just going to counter it with a Spell Queller. Oh, man. What it's like What it's like to never not have it. That's a, that's a thing right there. MCG Garlic Bread. Take it easy, buddy. I'm going to do it again. We're just going to do it again and see what happens. And assume you don't have another Spell Queller in hand, right? Huh? I think Nikki B is the correct Planeswalker for all decks. However, I was trying to be realistic here. Yep. All right, cool. <laughs> Have a good time. All right. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Oh, boy. Uh, we can't Path Queller because they have a card called Meddling Mage on the field, which prevents that. Um, hmm. Take out one path. Eh, well, I guess they submitted just as quickly as we did, so. Um, yeah, this hand's not super impressive, but whatever. The problem, K Flix, the problem is Path Queller is such an obvious line. We have two Path Exiles in our hand. But there has to be a reason why we're not doing that, right? He has two Paths in hand and he's not using any of them. None of this is making any sense. I felt like we were doing well. Now I feel less like that. Okay, well, this is a lot of things. Spirit. I feel like reading the board is probably pretty relevant to making making play suggestions, right? I can't imagine a game of magic where you just start making play suggestions without reading the board. That's just my that's my two cents. Talon Trooper does make Cave Cavern of Souls a lot worse, because then you have to name Bird Soldier. Hmm. 
Let's do it again. Seemed to work out for you last time. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it even better with Drog Droggy. Droggy McDroggerson. Blue, white, this guy. That might seal the deal. Because Selfless Spirit, I mean, they have to have Path, I guess. Do, do, do. Yep, that's pretty obnoxious. God, they really don't ever not have it, do they? This is the same exact sequence that they had last game. Um, so what we're going to do is go blue this. Get sucked on. Now we have two very, very shallow reflector mages. Wait, how are you able to play that? Didn't I bounce a reflector mage? That creature's owner can't cast spells of the same name as the creature until my next turn. How did that... What? I bounced both. That's why they're both back in their hand. <laughs> you bounced meddling mage. No, actually, I mean, there's. they had two creatures. Now they had none. That's how the reflector mage was actually in their hand. Well, that's cool. I forgot you reflector mage that. Yeah, well, how else did it get to your hand? That is the question. Well, that is something, isn't it? That's a pretty sizable bug. Well, we're definitely clipping this. Boop. All right. Well, that was cool. Well, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just going to cast a reflector mage. Wait, what? How are you doing that? You know, ways... If they had a second one, they'd probably just play the second one this turn. So I assume that's not the case at this point. Oh, I guess we just win the game. All right. Well, that's fair. I guess all's fair in, in, in love and reflector mages, I guess. So that's a thing. Um, ultimately, I'm not sure where this deck should go. 
Um, I wish I had more insight into it because that's what I feel like I want to give back when I do a critique. But sometimes it's just there's no easy solutions. Like there are definitely ways to tweak this deck so it's a banned version. And you do get to play things like Noble Hierarchs. Um, it also is possible to play either Vile over Collected Company, but I think the uh, the ability to play Collected Company is so easy that it's it's almost it's just academic to play Collected Company over it. But I mean, obviously, I can see why you'd play either Vile. The other thing is that either Vile is terrible in multiples, whereas Collected Company is great in multiples. Either Vile is card disadvantage, where Collected Company is card advantage. So uh, a lot of different factors at play there. Plus, Collected Company, if you're playing the green, it does give you some uh, additional green options in your sideboard. So, there's there's that. I don't even know if I submit a claim for that match just because I won it. But, uh, yeah, that, that is not how Reflector Mage should work. But, uh, yeah, either way, air your skinny. Hopefully, this helped somewhat. I hope seeing the, the deck in action uh, gave you some insight into how it plays. And um, where it could maybe shore up some of the holes. I do like New Ajani. I think a Johnny is a viable option for this deck. Adversary of Tyrants. You can put a 1-1 one, one on each of up to two target creatures. You can also return a creature with a converter mana. costs two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, which includes Rattle Chains, your Supreme Phantoms, your Selfless Spirits. Uh, I doubt in Modern you're ever going to get up to the negative 7, but uh, both of the first two abilities are pretty good, and they do make Mausoleum Wander a lot better. And also putting your, your Geist of St. Traft out of 2-2 range. Um, Sig is not... I don't like Sig as much just because he's Merfolk and it's double blue. So you have to have blue-blue unless you're... I don't know if you're talking about the blue-white Sig or the double-black, double-blue Sig. Um, obviously not this one because this is a target Merfolk you control. That's not that's not great. If you need a opponent lost three more life this turn, you may draw a card. I do like this one for the card drawing, but you have to remember that it's not a Merfolk, so or it's not a, a a spirit. So you need actually two blue sources, two dedicated blue sources, by turn two to actually reliably cast Sig. Um, so I mean a lot of a lot of cards are great for Magic, but the thing is you have to balance that with the mana requirements of the cost. It is a spicy suggestion. I mean, uh, the problem that I see with this deck is that you don't have a lot of card advantage. And you're sometimes at the mercy of your draws. You just hope you draw the spirits you need in the right order. Um, and that's why I think Collected Company shines a little bit. It gives you a little bit of selection. And it also just helps you refill if they have something like a Supreme Verdict. So, um, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this critique. If so, you can check out my Twitch or my Patreon profiles. Uh, the links are in the description below. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Smash those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.